Hey everyone! In this video, I'll show you how to make your own Nightmare Before Christmas themed tart charm. Start off by rolling out some scrap clay and cut a heart shape with a cookie cutter. And then measure out what section will have the swirl pattern, how big you want it to be. Then chop that center part out using a blade tool. Roll out some more clay into a thin small coil and chop it into different segments. Make sure both ends are rounded off before you roll it into the um, oval shape here. And do that a whole bunch of times so you can cover the entire shape there. Just press them down and you should get something like this in the end. Go ahead and bake that so it's hardened. Then roll out some more clay in the thickness that you want it to be and press the little texture plate you made into the clay. So you get a little section like this that has the swirly texture. Decide where you want the swirl section to be, then cut up the shape with the cookie cutter. There is an empty spot at the bottom there, so I added a little bit of extra texture. <laughs> now use a tool with a straight edge to start dividing the different pattern sections. To add the circle details, use a dotting tool or something similar. You can make them as big or as small as you want. I like to make them kind of big. In the top corner, use another straight edge tool to add some grooves. In the other corner, add some grooves that are sort of closer together with a smaller tool. I'm using the dull end of my blade tool here. And then just crisscross the lines like so. Using the same tool, add some straight lines to this um, circle section, I guess you can call it. <laughs> Make sure to take your time. The original purple one that I show you here, I took an hour to make. So yeah, it looks a little bit better. <laughs> so once you finish that, go ahead and bake it and press it into some mold maker. To make the skeleton face, I had this pen top that I pressed into some mold maker. But if you don't have that option, roll out a ball of clay and use a dotting tool to add the eyes. Then pinch the clay and sort of press it up to make his nose. Use whatever tool you have that will make a similar shape <laughs> to make the opened part of his mouth. Then use a smaller tool to finish the rest of his mouth. Then add some details to the lips. Use a needle tool to add some details to the nose. And then go ahead and bake that. Then press it into some mold maker. And then you'll have these two molds to work with. Condition some black clay, then press it into the heart mold. Do the same thing with the other mold. Then remove them both. And if you'd like it to be a charm, go ahead and add an eye pin at this point. Then bake both the shapes. 
Use some paint in pink, blue, yellow, white, and green. Start off with painting the skull in the white paint. Make sure not to get any of the paint into the um, grooves. You just want it on the surface. I like to use my fingers because it gives it a more, uh, I don't know, spookier look, I guess. More scratchy kind of look to it. Use the pink paint and paint the swirled section. I messed up a little but don't worry, you can cover that up with the other colors. <laughs> In this section, use the blue paint. Then use the yellow paint. Then in the last section, use the green paint. And it should look something like this. Once everything is dry, go ahead and add some glue to the back of the face. And glue it down to the front. Then when everything is dry, go ahead and add gloss to the outside. That'll help keep the paint from scratching off. Then there you go. Your own Nightmare Before Christmas themed heart charm. Thanks for watching! Bye!